Read it one more time. Start again. First Corinthians 2 and 13. Mm -hmm. Which things also we speak. Which things we also speak. Not in the words which man's wisdom teach. Not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth. You see, a lot of believers want you to talk the way they would understand. That's not how God talks. If I use man's wisdom, I have failed you because that's not how God speaks. So people want what is written. What, what, what is this? Uh, no, no, that's not what is. Sorry. This is why if you ask yourself, the people like Job, people like Adam, people like Enoch, what Bible did they use? How did they work with God? How could Cain hear the voice of God and still kill his brother? But you think if you have the Holy Spirit, you have discernment. You've deceived yourself. The Holy Spirit will lead you in all truth. How many times have you failed? Your word is a lamp unto my feet. How many times have you made bad mistakes? Terrible mistakes. Jesus says, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Meaning the words of Jesus, don't, they are not carnal. They are spirit. He did not say they are spiritual. He said they are spirit. Keep going. But which the Holy Ghost teaches. But which the Holy Ghost teacheth. This is why many times when people say, God said to me, God said to me, God said to me, God said to me. And then you look at the choices of their life, they are failing. Is God telling you or is it logic through the word of God speaking to you? Because if God can tell you, go to this place, why isn't the same God directing you in other things? You know, God just said this to me. God just, okay, he said it to you. Let him also tell you everything to do with your life so that you can make good choices. Why isn't that happening? You are using good thinking in light of scripture, what you can feel like it's God, which is not wrong. It's actually right. It's not God speaking. It's you being sensitive to what God would want you to do in a situation. But it's not that God spoke. That's why a lot of people, Holy Spirit said, Holy Spirit said, Holy Spirit said, Holy Spirit said. But when they see somebody prophesying deep, no, it's witchcraft. It will tell you why. Keep reading. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Discernment is about their ability to compare spiritual things. Not physical and what's fleshly. Not what is false, what is right. No. It is the ability to compare spiritual things with the spiritual. So if you don't even live in the spirit, how can you compare spiritual things? I feel like I'm talking to myself. And that is not even the fullness of discernment. I'm just showing you one of the functions of discernment. Is the ability to compare spiritual things, not carnal things, not who has the right scripture, who is preaching the scripture wrong. No. Because my view of God and your view of God will always be different. Because we are wired to see God a certain way. That is why every minister has a special message from God because already from our perspective of God is already different. When I was speaking to my, to my grandfather, he told me this. He said, I love your idiosynchronic view of God. You know, that, you know what I'm talking about, Bishop. I, I said, huh? <laughs> Every word sounds like a dictionary. <laughs> Say so your view of God is unique because he designed you like that. Yet people want to change their views of men on how they... No, we will always see God differently. 